No, I need to hire. Oh, hi everyone. So this is Martha and I'm at uh, Kelvin Lin uh, studio. So this is his, um, he's also a artist and uh, we are here because we are going to do a photo shoot for our Volvo uh, photo book and uh, that's the studio and uh, Kelvin is just in front of me. Wait, I'll show you his face. Uh, so these are the, some of the photos and nobody is watching right now actually. Okay, so this is Kelvin. Say hi. Okay, talk. Uh, Kelvin, what do you do? I'm an artist. Can you hold the phone? No, no, no. Go ahead. I Kelvin. ask to show yourself. No, are you in the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just talk to yourself. Okay. Uh, so Kelvin, what do you do? I'm an artist, a uh, portrait artist. I do photography and painting. Look here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Go, go, continue. <laughs> Continue. So how did we meet and uh, what made us decide to come out with this book? Uh, we met because I was looking for someone who is uh, doing something passionate. Someone who is passionate about a job and uh, not doing something that is ordinary and has been doing this for many years because she's passionate about it. So I somehow I found Martha online and we, I decided to just give her a call and see if we can work together and that was how it started. Mm. Mm. But why the book? Tell him, tell them, tell them about the book. Tell them about the book. Wow, so many people like. <laughs> oh my god, Kelvin, he's actually not a very, uh, he's quite a shy person actually. So as you can tell. Uh, so wait, I sit closer to him. <laughs> Actually, this is very impromptu. <laughs> we just have some time before the uh, our model comes, so that's why I'm I'm doing this. I came early, and we are chatting. And okay, come on, continue. How can you be so comfortable in a video? <laughs> I have had a lot of practice. I have done hundreds of them, look uh, by myself. Uh, I'm very uncomfortable. Actually, I'm an introvert. I'm very uncomfortable. Uh, at first, but uh, with with lots of practice, I've become more comfortable. Um, um, because the intention has always been to help more people. So if I really want to help people, then I have to be uncomfortable. I have to be uncomfortable uh, so that I can help more people. So that I can. Uh, so that's why I do I do a lot of videos, and of course um, the videos are not that great quality. <laughs> but doesn't mean that I stop, right? Uh, if we want everything to be perfect in life, uh, we'll never do it. So that's kind of my philosophy over over time. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, tell them more about the book. More about the book. Uh, yeah, you first introduced to me about the idea of doing a Volvo book. Yeah. And um, I wasn't that keen at first because it was a book about shooting valvas and you described the books to me and they were all like valvas in the same position showing this this part this is that part it's very clinical so i wasn't really keen about that um, but then you told me that these are not the pictures you're looking for because they are so they are so clinical so so inhuman it's almost like shooting objects um, the, and some of them are really, uh, they are trying to make the vulva something that is not like lots of embellishment, trying to make it look like a petal and so on, uh, when actually it's very human. So then you told me what you like. Uh, you like something uh, not just about photos on the vulva, but about the woman talking about their relationship with the vulva, uh, what are the problems they face and the issues, uh, the medical, what is that condition? Vaginismus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I first learned about that condition from you. Yeah. And how that book will help women with that condition. So then, mm. I became really, really interested because it isn't just a picture book. Uh, mm. It is not just clinical. It is something that will help people, and it is something that you can read uh, about women's stories, about their emotional journey, and I think that is something that got me really, really interested. Yeah. Yeah. So it's exactly what you just said. You, you do the video, not because you are comfortable with it, but because you want to help people. And uh, yes. yeah, that's exactly why uh, 
I love the idea of working with you. Yeah, I really want to help people. I don't know why. I've always had this thing about wanting to help people. I was, um, I don't know, I think this is my mission actually. Uh, maybe that's why I have uh, uh, not manifested, not managed to manifest a lifelong partner. And um, so vaginismus is a condition that happens when a woman's vagina shuts down, making penetration difficult and impossible. Usually it's because of psychological fear of penetration. Uh, it could be painful uh, sex that has led to uh, this uh, uh, tensing up of the pelvic floor muscles, uh, the entrance of the vagina. So uh, a lot of my clients with vaginismus have primary vaginismus and uh, they don't know where is their vagina, they have never looked at themselves and uh, just just uh, uh, over the weekend uh, I got attacked by this 60 uh, year old woman. Mm -hmm. She said, uh, uh, trust me darling or something, you know, some kind of, I mean this was by email of course, so uh, not, not email, a uh, Facebook messenger. So she was insulting me, she said, uh, trust me, I'm 60 year old, I, I've been with this amazing man and um, uh, let me tell you uh, something. Sex is not just about uh, uh, your body. It's also about what is between your uh, head um, and be between your ears or in your head. And um, <laughs> it's just very annoying because there are so many ways to approach an issue and the lack of sex education, the lack of understanding your body, the lack of knowing where is your vagina, uh, for instance, uh, causes a lot of sex problems. So I think we are all actually trying to help people in our own ways, the 60-year-old woman and myself, but there's actually no need to uh, go around um, being very rude to mm. each other and mm. hurting each other. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's what happened to me. <laughs> Weird. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to do a shoot uh, uh, in, I don't know, 15 minutes time when our model comes. So this is going to be the third uh, shoot that we're doing, uh, the first one being myself. And uh, um, <laughs> the second time we did it, I didn't do any, I, I didn't do any making of video or into, or, uh, uh, I mean, I did an interview, but it was audio, but I didn't do any making of video or whatever, you know, that can go towards the project, maybe like a DVD or something, or like a video that can go with the book. Oh, but the pictures are beautiful. Really yeah, the beautiful. pictures are beautiful. Yes, really, really. Uh, I mean, you know, my 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 friend, she's she's extremely comfortable with her body, and um, I thought I was comfortable with my body, but I realized when I was going through my photos, uh, yes, there was this element of being very self-critical, um, the like looking at myself um, with like an outsider view as opposed to really just oh, stay in my body and be human. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I. I actually learned something from watching her view her photos because uh, she really relished it. She she took her time watching the photo, I mean watching, uh, looking at each photo and uh, I was the one who was like, oh okay, I didn't do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh I like this, don't like this, oh I'm fat, oh I'm this, oh mm, no, I don't like, oh yeah, okay, uh, okay, I like this, okay, we can use this, <laughs> you know, like very, very functional. I think that's like the other hat that I play, you know, which is I already start editing before I need to start <laughs> editing. You know what I mean? Like I already thinking about the book. Yeah, so oh, well, it's, not right? it's not good. It's not good. You wear so many hats. Like at some point, you yeah, you have to. Sometimes you forget that uh, you have to be human. Yeah. Oh. So anyway, um, I was making this uh, short video. I don't know whether it'll make it into the uh, crowdfunding page, a lot of people are asking me about it already, mm. like, okay, don't just talk about it, like, is there a link? Um, not yet, we are still trying to pull everything together, do a proper, a nice crowdfunding page, but I'm making these little videos, I guess, to create um, some uh, interest and awareness, and uh, also I want to, you know, support my friend, give him publicity. Thank you. So so uh, let's let's do a tour of his place, okay? You, do you mind? Oh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, so I'm gonna just now I kind of pan, but I'm just gonna do a longer longer one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Thanks. Okay, so I'm at the entrance. I'm literally at the entrance. Uh, entrance is behind me, and uh, you come in, and there's all these uh, paintings. So I was so so impressed by this because I love uh, still life uh, paintings. 
I, I used to paint uh, when I was in art school and I didn't do very well for my art class, but anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, so we're talking about Master here, okay? Look at his uh, life drawings. I mean, not drawings, the life paintings. Uh, this is oil painting. Yeah, it's ama uh, to me it's amazing. Uh, yeah, so anyway, this is his space. Uh, I love it. Of course, I love the, the uh, feminine forms that he has created. Uh, I love it. And uh, this is actually his painting area. So this is his office uh, behind me. Uh, and this is his easel, of course. And you can see there's all this landscape. So he doesn't just do art form or fem feminine form. He actually also does landscape. Uh, I think he's preparing for like an exhibition, I was told. And uh, so here is where you take photos. That's uh, the studio. And uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, yeah, just coming in. Okay, maybe some of you might feel dizzy, but okay. And then this is the 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 makeup area. I'm entertaining myself. <laughs> Calvin has gone back to the office. <laughs> and uh, more. Okay, I go slower. Okay, this is one. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's, I think it's a painting. This one, I think it's a painting. Oh, this is another one. So of course, those that are put up, um, they have permission from their clients, and it's beautiful, of course. <laughs> this is, this is like a little, uh, uh, I don't know, like a cocoon, like a peanut, <laughs> kind of P, you know, P E A, <laughs> reminds me of P, uh, the vegetable. Uh, this is of course beautiful with light. I think you have a beautiful setting. Everything is just beautiful. Oh, my friend is here. So I'm going to go. Uh, sorry, can't finish the tour. I have to go. Okay, so...